My article is about the outbreak of cryptosporidiosis associated with a splash park. This article was made in 2007 and was based in Idaho. I'm going to start out by explaining what cryptosporidiosis is. It is most commonly just called crypto. It's a chlorine-resistant parasite. Um, it causes a diarrhea disease in healthy humans, most commonly in young children. Um, it can be chronic or can be even fatal in those who have a weakened immune system or who have any autoimmune diseases, such as AIDS. There is currently no drug or treatment for a crypto. Um, so if you ever contract this disease, you're just going to have to let it run its course until it's done and it leaves your body. It is caused by Cryptosporidium parvum, which is a eukaryotic protozoan pathogen. It has a complex life cycle. Um, it is protected by a hard outer shell, so it can live for a pretty long time outside of the human body and also makes it very resistant to chlorine disinfection. This is why um, crypto is one of the most common waterborne diseases and why it is predominantly caused in splash parks. Um, so this article starts in August 2007 um, when Idaho's Central District Health Department started receiving complaints of illness from people after they went to this certain splash park. So they combined with Idaho's Department of Health and Welfare to start investigating. They revealed 45 clinically compatible cases of crypto among the 154 people that they interviewed, which is approximately a 32% attack rate. I'm just going to explain how a typical water system is regulated. Um, a municipal system supplies the water which flows from, um, from the features onto an impermeable surface such as concrete, which they do have in splash parks, through drains, and um, it recirculates through high flow sand filters back to the water features. But what they found is that in Idaho they weren't following the pool code. Um, the initial investigation began with 20 people who attended a party at the Splash Park, and of the 20 people, 12 of them were infected with the Cryptosporidium. Um, all 12 of those people had been in the Splash Park water, and of the 12 of them, 6 of them had drank in um, the water fountain that was nearby. So the investigators hypothesized that the crypto was caused from drinking the contaminated water. After interviewing the people, they later started um, an environmental investigation and they found that young children were the predominant users of the Splash Park and they also found that even younger children, like babies, were sitting on top of the Splash features while wearing diapers. Um, they also found that soap was not readily available in any of the nearby restrooms or in any of the showers. Um, public health education signs were not posted anywhere that was visible to the visitors. Um, they did not have any standing water, and they also found that there was um, a regulating system that um, was recirculated through um, chlorine, but as I said before, the cryptosporidium is very resistant to chlorine disinfection. Um, and after all of the investigations, the splash park was closed on August 17th, and the drinking water nearby was closed on August 23rd. Um, however, they did determine that the water fountains didn't, were not the source of the crypto. They were still closed because they failed inspection and they needed to be replaced. Um, they, repeat, they repeated the testing of the drinking fountain on August 29th, and um, it was found on August 31st that there were no traces of crypto. They were turned back on on September 11th, but the splash park was not reopened until 2008. Um, they installed ultraviolet treatment systems throughout the park. They um, improved the hygiene facilities. They hired attendants to monitor non-hygienic behaviors of any of the visitors at the park. And they also posted educational signs instructing visitors not to drink any of the Splash Park water. Um, an editorial note that was in this article, they said that the outbreak described um, in this article was a very newly built splash park and yeah, it was recently constructed and it wasn't regulated and um, they also said that splash park operators and public health officials should work together to stop these type of problems and to stop the spread of diseases and water illnesses and that the main problem is people are really what 
what contaminates the water the most. They're the primary source of the contamination. And even in well-maintained um, water areas, um, they can still contain the cryptosporidiosis. So you always have to be careful.